the, the turning to the UN is in fact a recognition of, uh, of the failure of US u unilateralism. The original idea was we just don't have to go along with the rest of the world. We are smart enough, powerful enough to be able to bomb anyone out of their senses. But having bombed people out of their senses, those tiny citizens of Iraq are organizing, not with Saddam Hussein's help, but just as very angry people who don't like occupation and don't like the deceit of an improved society not being brought to them. Now that there's a mess to be cleaned up in Iraq, you need more than the military from the United States. And the rest of the world will never join a US military. The rest of the world will never serve under a US military. My country was asked to supply forces to Iraq. The government nearly agreed, but the parliament absolutely refused. And the condition being sent back from every part of the world is, if we have to help in the rebuilding of Iraq, nobody wants to be there as an occupier of Iraq, but people do care about rebuilding Iraq. But the condition is that rebuilding of Iraq must happen under the United Nations, not under the US military. That is why the US is now turning to the United Nations, because they've created a mess. They're left with a mess. The, their own military today is the target. The war is continuing in different ways, and somehow they need to stop it. The United Nations is being brought in just like Mama helps clean up after the mess young people leave.